What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. In the last episode, we finished up Haunted Tower. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on Jacques, the boss of this home world. As well as the flight level that uh, is waiting for us at the very, very end. So, if you will excuse me, I'm just going to fly my way over here nice and slowly. Make this jump. Here we go. And we're just going to make our way over there. Which... I do not think there's anything obstructing the way to Jacques, honestly, so we're just gonna right, go right past all of you and hurry over here and head on inside. Now, Jacques, if I do, if I am not mistaken, is just a giant fool. And I don't mean that in an insulting manner, no, I mean like he actually is like the fool enemy, just large, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we have a lot of the fools to deal with who are going to make a lot of changes in this episode. So I want to take care of you. There we go. Watch out for the alligator ladies, whatever they might be, and take care of you, which is going to allow me to get up. What? Okay, he is like obstructing me? That was strange. That was incredibly strange. His hitbox was like above his head and made it impossible for me to make that jump. Pardon me, gator ladies. There we go. Now if I can, it's you. I jump up on this. Oh, actually, I want these first. Let's get these. Let's put you back. All right, there we go. Get up here. Ah, excuse me, I got a little too close. Wait a minute, they're hitting me with flowers. Why is that even causing me any concern? That's that's the real question here. I don't understand that in the least. All right, there we go. There, that problem. I almost missed my jump. That was close. Let's grab all of this. We got ourselves a shroom man that I can get here as is usually needed in a boss level, because for some reason I take, I always take very unnecessary hits in these levels. Uh, pardon me, sir, I really need to get you. There we go. Get that. Perfect. And now, if we can backtrack just a little, oh, we got an extra life here, I will absolutely take that. Now if we can make this jump, let's head on down here. Ah, don't miss any steps along the way, there's a gem on each one. Perfect. And there is Jacques himself. Okay, so he's a little bit different from a fool. He's more like a jack-in-the-box thing. Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? Okay, also that dragon was made entirely out of yarn, so that's something. Yeah, you think you're so funny, huh? Yeah, keep... Keep running away. Keep running away. Nice try, though. All right, back you go. Wait for him to throw that at me. Got him again. It's going to send me up this way. Just don't fall into the lava, and you should be good. There we go. Oh, oh, he dodged me. He dodged me good. Oh, gosh, I accidentally forgot to cancel my glide. I'm going to fall to my death and die. Sweet. Awesome. That was amazing. Okay, I genuinely didn't think I was going to overshoot that, and thought I was going to land on it nice and easy, but apparently not, and that is why I fell to my death, which was amazing. Okay, it looks like there is a couple gems up here for me to grab. Lots of 25. Is that really all that necessary? Goodness me. Okay, so we got all of that. Now, we are not done with this level by any means. We have 288 of 500 and still a dragon to find, so we're going to head back this way now. It's kind of funny that the boss fight itself is in this isolated part of the level that really has nothing to do with anything else, if I'm being honest. So let's go over this way. Now we're going to need to take care of those fools in a different succession, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get rid of you. And then you as well. Up, up, up. Perfect. And from here, we can fly in here, grab ourselves the key, as well as all of those ten gems. Make that jump. Okay, now if I'm very careful about this... Should be able to make this no problem. Pardon me. There we go. Break our way through a couple more treasure chests. Woohoo! That was playing with fire right there. Okay, so now for this one, there is, if I'm not mistaken, a fool up here that actually lowers this, and then we need to patiently wait for it to um, come back down. So I think we are supposed to get this guy, and then this one. I know I missed a couple jams, but we'll be out back to get those. And then after that guy wakes up over there, this one will go back up and allow us to fly all the way over. 
and get our friend. There we go. What's up? How's it going? Well, I was going to try to pronounce that, and I can't. Unica? Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Uh, all right. He looks like the most uncle-y of all the uncle dragons in this entire game, I got to say. Get out of here. Okay, I actually don't even know what that... Oh, that affected that platform. Okay, well, I'm not too concerned about that then. Now, I am a dummy. Okay, that was not good. That was not good at all. Um, so for this part, if I'm not mistaken, you actually get an achievement if you can glide through all of these and hit them all in succession without messing up, which I just did perfectly. So that right there should get you a trophy, um, although I do have my notifications turned off, which is why you're not seeing me get that. Um, so there we go. Get ourselves that. Just got to do it all in one flight now. Obviously, you have to, if you mess that up, leave the level and start over, which is kind of annoying. Um... And I know I had to do that on my initial playthrough of this game. But let's get our way over here. He wakes up really fast. Holy crap. I can actually hear that going off almost immediately behind me. Let's get all that. And now if we can, make this gap. That is kind of treacherous. Take those. Thank you. And then I suppose just back we go. Okay. So we're still missing a fair amount of gems in this level, and I need to figure out exactly where those might be. I did not want to land in that. I just need to fly my way across. Obviously. Okay, well, at least the shroom came back so I can get my health. Please give me that. Thank you. I know I missed a couple of gems back here at the beginning, and I think I should be able to just fly. Yep, there we go. Nice and easy. Well, other than the fact that I face planted on a pillar. Grab all that. Let's see, what ones are we missing? We're missing a few over this way. Alright, that's doable. Hello there, lady. I didn't even know I missed you, but okay. Now, if I can, let's get you. There we go. Nice try. And can I make that? There we go. Okay, I did it before. What am I even thinking? Get our way up here now, and then we have... Oh, that's... Yeah, right, of course, we have this treasure chest. I always forget about these, even though I have the key in the corner. And, uh, that is it for this level. Awesome! So, all that remains in this episode now is the obligatory flight level. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the flight level in this one is... Uh, it's, it's, it's not the easiest thing in the world, that's for darn sure. Um, I'm almost positive it's not all that easy, so... Might take me a few attempts to actually get it down perfectly. But, uh, you know, you know the normal drill with that. I do one attempt and then show you guys the perfect attempt. So with all that said, let's head on over into the flight level. All right, so we're going to want to head over this way. Now let's take care of these ladies who I can't do that easily. Let's quickly get you before, there we go, before you get all big. And now we're going to want to make our way up this direction. It's definitely the most annoying part of the level to access. There we go. Now we just got to get rid of all these fools. If I can, I can actually get on this one in time. And bypass the other one entirely. There we go. And now all we have is Icy Flight. Let's do this. So it looks like I was actually wrong about the gem overall total gem count. It was actually 10,200, so that's interesting. Okay, so actually, you do have to start by lighting all of these lighthouses. Yes, these are things that you have to worry about. I didn't even notice that when I first started the level. I was like... Like the first time, I was really confused. I was like, wait a minute, these? Really? They don't even look like things that you're supposed to interact with, but okay. All right, so let's loop back around now, and I know I missed a few. Um, I missed a few things. So we got a few more lighthouses to get, as well as some treasure chests that I am already messing up on, so that's a good start. I knew this I knew this one was like particularly like challenging, but I'm just going to keep trying to weave around and see if I can get everything. Um, and then we're going to hopefully make our way to the train tracks and uh, start going after the next set of objectives. And I have, I believe, oh, I got it, 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 I got it. Oh gosh, that was really freaking close. Okay, I'm going the right way, get the trains as we go. And now, if I'm not mistaken, there is a set of planes in one section of the level that we need to get. I love those guys, oh, they just shout at you. Okay, it's these rotors, these uh, rotor copters right here that we need to get. So let's get all of these. Oh, come here, you. Thank you. Okay, I actually get some pretty darn good time bonuses for getting each of these guys. All right. So is there how many in this area? Just three? Okay, well, I guess I was mistaken. So we're probably not going to be getting it on this attempt. Yep, especially since I missed that train. 
So we're going to call that one quits for now, and we're going to give this one another go. I kind of had the pattern down, uh, at least at the beginning, although I missed some of the key treasure chests on the way towards um, where I need to be going. So we're going to actually start by following this path nice and simply, like so. There we go. Just hit every single lighthouse that we can along the way. Loop our way back. Seven, I think, is a pretty darn good start. Now we start going after the treasure chests. Of course, there is the one lighthouse that I have missed. Let's get that. We're now going to loop around the outside, get all of the treasure chests that we can. And I am fully aware that I missed one here, so let's get that one. And then loop our way back to this guy, and then we can start going after all of the trains on the rails here. Let's get them. Nice and easy. Now, I don't think I'm missing any of the little rotor guys just yet. Um, get you. And now we can start going after these, so let's get them as fast as we possibly can. Perfect. There we go. Don't want to miss up out on a train. Perfect. Okay, looping our way back again. Let's get these, and I can see more rotor boys over here, so that's all of the trains taken care of. Get, oh, I missed a rotor boy. That's not good. Let's try the next one. I can definitely loop back and get him. These do give you a lot of time to get them at least, so that's good. And now get you, and then the last one, we are done with this level. All right, once again, got it perfectly on my second try. I will take it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And in the next episode, we are going to be heading on into the final world in the game. That's right. Finally, we're going to be heading to Nasty Nork's location with only a couple of levels left to take care of. So with all that said, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.